Hello and welcome to this video on how to run a multi-level regression model in the M Plus software. My name is Christian Geiser. I'm an instructor and statistical consultant with Quantfish and on this channel I present weekly statistics tutorials. On Tuesdays I usually talk about an analysis in the M Plus software and on Thursdays I address more general issues in multivariate statistical analysis including factor analysis, structural equation modeling, multi-level modeling and latent class analysis. If this is something that is of interest to you, then please subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to check out the description for additional resources, including a link to my free weekly statistics newsletter, as well as workshops that I offer through Quantfish. So in this video, I want to walk you through the M plus syntax for a multi-level regression model with a level one predictor and a level two predictor, as well as random intercepts and random slopes. So let's take a look at this syntax file here and you can see that first of all I specified a title multi-level regression model and then I have my data file here which is called multi-level dot dot. The next command then is used to center the level one predictor variable x. This is done in M plus through the define command. So center x group mean in parentheses means that the variable x is centered at the group mean. For example, if you have individuals nested within school classes, so for example, students nested within school classes, then the scores on X would be centered at the class specific means. Next is the variable statement in which first of all, we define um, the variables in the data set multilevel dot dot using the names subcommand. The first variable in my data set multilevel dot dot is called group. And this is the so-called cluster variable. So this is the variable that indicates level two group membership. For example, the school class number or school class ID, or if you had different companies in which individuals are nested, then this grouping variable would indicate the specific company. And so that's important because M plus needs to know what the level one versus level two units are. And so this so-called cluster variable, a grouping variable needs to be included in a data set whenever you want to run a multi-level analysis in the M plus software. You can see that this variable group then appears in the cluster subcommand. The cluster subcommand um, tells M plus this is the cluster variable that defines um, level one versus level two units. Furthermore, in the data set, we have the outcome variable Y, the level one predictor variable X, and the level two predictor variable W. And those three variables are used in the multi-level regression model, and they are therefore also listed in the use var statement. Now, how does M plus know which variable acts as a level one versus a level two predictor. For that purpose, we use the within and between subcommands in the variable command. You can see that here under within, I listed X, which is my level one predictor, whereas under between, I listed W, which is my level two predictor. So now why does refer, does M plus refer to level one as the within level and to level two as the between level. So the reason is that the within level, so say is the within groups level or within cluster level, whereas the level two is the between cluster level, for example, between school classes. And so this is how M plus defines level one or labels level one versus level two. Level one is the within level in M plus, um, level two is the between groups level. In the analysis command, we select type equals two level for any kind of two level analysis in the M plus software. And we add the keyword random for any model that has not only random intercepts, but also random slopes. So whenever you have a multi-level model in M plus with both random intercepts and random slopes, you have to include that keyword random and not just type equals two level. In the model statement, 
we define what happens at level one versus level two. And so first we define the model for level one, which again is done by using this within keyword now in between those percent signs. So the percent within percent tells M plus here we are specifying our level one model. And so specifically in my level one model, I have my regression of the outcome variable y on my level one predictor variable x. And in this regression, I not only have a random intercept coefficient where the intercept of that regression can vary across level two or between level two units, but I also have a random slope. And so that is specified by using this vertical bar here, this vertical bar symbol and before the vertical bar symbol, I include a label of my choice for the random slope coefficient. In this case, I chose the label beta 1j to indicate my, um, my random slope coefficient. And so this tells M plus in the regression of y on x at level one, there is a random slope and not just a random intercept. The random intercept is automatically included, but not the random slope in M plus. This is because the random slope needs to be labeled so it can be referred to at level two, which we will now look at. So the level two model is specified here by using the between keyword again and also it is listed between in between percent signs so this tells m plus we are now specifying our level two model and so the level two regression model is one where first of all the intercept from the level one regression is regressed on the level two predictor w this is given here by or defined here by stating y on w. So this tells them plus the random intercept is potentially dependent on or differences in the intercept between level two units are potentially explained by w. And also potential differences in the level one slope between clusters or between groups here are also dependent on W or regressed on. We're regressing the slope on W as well. So W might explain both differences in the intercept across groups and differences in the slopes across groups. Finally, we included here a residual association or parameter, so say that accounts for a potential residual covariance between the intercept and the slope. Remember that both the intercept and the slope are regressed on W at level two. And so there's a residual term then in each level two regression equation. There's one regression equation for the intercept and one regression equation for the slope. And there's a residual term. And so those residual terms here are allowed to co-vary. And that is indicated by this um, command Y with beta one J. And then finally, we request sample statistics so that M plus will give us the level one and level two means covariances and correlations. I hope you found this video useful to learn about how multi-level analysis, multi-level regression modeling is done in the M plus software. If you did, then please hit the like button. Don't forget to sub subscribe to this channel and to check out the description for additional resources. And I'll see you next time.